Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can submit a form without reloading page. So actually, you can input a form and submit the data to the database and without even uh, loading that uh, complete page again. So I'll be showing a step-by-step -step process how you can do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple JavaScript uh, snippet which can be used in either in all the uh, HTML platforms uh, wherever you want, okay? So for my convenience, I'm using uh, Java JSP for uh, as the front end. You can use any other PHP or any other any other front end technologies. Okay, we're, uh, we're just supporting JavaScript. So for my convenience, I'm using a uh, JSPS front end. So basically, uh, the uh, idea is same and uh, the code is same. Uh, all you need is a, a, a server and your front end application. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start uh, using my Eclipse ID. So I'm going to start a new workspace here, test 6, okay, just wait for your workspace to be loaded. Yes, the workspace is created. I'm going to create a new uh, dynamic web project, it's actually a web project here we are going to use. So this is a dynamic web project we are going to use here. And the project name I'm mean, giving it as uh, uh, submit form okay i'm just giving the submit form you can give any name just click finish and rest of all the things i am putting it as default okay and now here i'm going to create an index page where we will create uh, the form uh, for testing so i'm going to create a new jsp page here so the page name i'm giving it as index okay so this is the uh, jsp page where we have to write uh, the code for the form okay so let be simple i am going to write uh, straight the html code here so I'm going to give a center tag here and uh, just give a symbol form here, okay? Form. So let be form and uh, and uh, give a text box here. Input as name, input uh, type text and give the name as uh, name okay yes if the basic form is ready now let's try running this in the server just right click on the index.jsp select run as run on server so we have to take the server what we need so have my eclipse sorry uh, the tomcat 6 version available installed in my pc just select next and go to browse and select where you have installed your tomcat server okay so in my it's in my c drive program files and apache tomcat uh, 6 in this new folder my tomcat 6 is there just select this one and just click finish and wait for your uh, server to be started page has been loaded now let me take this my chrome browser so it's a basic text box nothing is there as uh, we written in the page okay now let me give a small uh, button here so that we can submit data input type button should be a button and a value i'm giving it a submit okay so if i'm just refreshing this one it will load the submit button okay so there is no functionality for this one you can see here there is no functionality okay now let me give the functionality for this one i don't need an action tag here so i'll be giving a symbol script uh, uh, javascript text okay so it is actually a function to take the values from uh, the values from the uh, values from the form okay so i'm giving it as take values you can give any names take values you can give any names and inside this first we have to give as uh, a name for our form to get the value so i'm giving it as my form and we have to take the values here now we have to create a where value here so i'm giving it as where n or name whatever you can give whatever you want so it's equal to i'm going to take the value okay document dot uh, forms forms and you have to give uh, the form name and the variable name dot value okay so this is how we have to use now we have to give a name for yeah we have already given the form name so i'm going to get the form name has here form name and uh, the value i mean the uh, the input value so the name is uh, the name of uh, uh, the character i mean uh, the parameter so is done now 
I can write uh, a symbol alert to get uh, to print uh, the value n. Okay, that will be value n. Now we have to call uh, this function on submitting uh, this form. Okay, so uh, I am giving it as uh, on click. Okay, on clicking login button, on click return return uh, we can call this function okay let me call this function from here yes now it's ready if I'm just uh, refreshing this one and load everything and I'm just writing some value if I'm submitting here it should alert me uh, the whatever we have written okay so I'm giving it as my name if I'm just submitting this one you can see it's returning my name okay so we have successfully got the value uh, from the form and now I'm just giving a symbol uh, snippet to get uh, to to validate uh, the input if it is null or if it is nothing you have to enter the value okay I'm just going to go adding the code snippet here so I have added a symbol uh, if loop here so if the value is uh, OLFN is null or value is uh, empty string it will uh, it will alert a a message name uh, saying please enter the username okay let's try this if I'm just refreshing this again page and if I'm just submitting without anything you can see here which is giving a uh, place in the username okay now the else the uh, the submission of uh, this form without refreshing on the page we have to write in here okay so let me uh, write that code here and I'll explain what it is actually so the code snippet I am directly taking from uh, stack overflow so I'm just searching uh, submit form without reloading page okay I already tried it so here is the code here this one okay let me uh, copy it completely from here copy it and paste it here okay so if i'm pasting it here we have to update something here so here it is uh, saying like we have to give uh, the where the form is going okay so for that i'm going to create one more page here so this is the way you have to do uh, if uh, you have to submit the data okay you have to uh, create separate page with the all the functionality connected in the database and input uh, the values from there okay so for our uh, our uh, just to show you i'm going to give uh, a page like input dot uh, jsp whatever okay so i'm going to remove everything from here i'm just giving i'm uh, receiving uh, the value from uh, i am writing a code to receive the value in this page okay so it's like a string name equals a string Added string name equal to a uh, request dot get parameter param one. Okay, so uh, we have to pass the value as uh, param one. This line will print uh, the name whatever we have received in that page. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's uh, open that page. So it is like uh, input uh, input dot jspk. So if I'm just entering here, it will be a null, and if I'm passing a parameter param1 equal to jinu you can see here my the name will be printing there okay now we are going to use uh, this page for uh, the backend process or adding uh, the data to the database okay now coming by the index.jsp so basically our uh, post uh, the submission should go to input.jsp okay so this is the path for the input.jsp here this is the path copy it come back to our page index.jsp copy the path completely here okay and uh, the parameters so the, our parameter name is param1 okay copy it from here paste it here and our parameter is actually n okay so give that n here mm -hmm. now what is internally happening is it will receive uh, the uh, the value from the form and submit to this page and whatever uh, is happening in that page if there is a return so any print value here it will directly print it uh, in uh, the index.jsp without uh, refreshing the form okay yes now let's try running our program so it's like from index.jsp index.jsp will be submitting a value okay so I'm going to submit it as uh, jamsh okay if I'm just submitting this one it will print the alert will uh, come first alert is actually coming from the second page okay so just uh, to check that once again we will add a small value here okay 
so after the name i am going to give uh, uh, this is input page input page alert okay yes if i am uh, saving this one let's let's, let's try refreshing the page again i am giving the uh, name as a b c d if I'm, if I'm submitting here we can see here a b c d this input is from alert alert input page alert okay so this is coming from this page actually and you can see here the page is not getting refreshed if i'm press ok we can see here the value is getting submitted to the next page and it is uh, doing and the alert is printing from the page and there is no uh, there is no uh, the page is not getting refreshed okay now this is the basic idea and uh, we can uh, uh, we can have a, a uh, input query in that page and uh, in, insert the data insert the value in the database uh, in a mysql database okay i am showing uh, the mysql database here you can have any any other database so for demonstration i am going to use a mysql database and uh, i'll show you how it works okay let me write the code for that here and i'll explain yes i have uh, just uh, input the code to uh, get the data from uh, the page and insert into database so as i told i am using mysql database so i have uh, just wrote the connection uh, class information of uh, mysql database and i have uh, i'll show you my mysql database so this is my mysql database i have uh, a database named test inside that there is a table name codes okay so here is the codes uh, only uh, two columns are there sl number and name basically uh, this is a mysql uh, mysql client i mean a mysql gui client so you can have uh, installed directly from uh, google the name of the mysql client is hidi uh, sql so we can uh, it, it, it's actually G, gui as a mysql workbench for your mysql database okay so in this database there is no values here now i'm going to uh, you can see i'm refreshing no values is here, no no values are here okay now uh, in the page as you can see uh, this is directly inserting uh, the value uh, to the codes table and the name uh, name column okay so it's that a, a, a insert query is there and uh, for support we have to add uh, the jar uh, mysql jar in uh, the library folder i have added that one also okay now let's uh, try uh, running our page i'm just refreshing the page i'm just uh, input a value as one okay if i'm just submitting here you can see here there is an alert coming i'll show you from where that alert is coming but the page is not getting refreshed okay if i'm just pressing okay it see nothing is happening but if i'm going to database you can see that value has been ended okay so the alert is coming from here with the in the front uh the index.jsp so this is, is a copy paste code we have to remove that alert from here now just refresh from here you can see here i'm adding just two I'm submitting here nothing is happening the page is not getting refreshed everything is perfect and if I'm just refreshing here you can see the two value 2 has been added and the same way I'm adding 3 it is getting add it will get add 4 it will get add so the page is not getting refreshed at all so for a confirmation you can just give an alert in the input uh, as uh, added successfully okay added uh add success okay i'm just giving added success okay to show that message we have to turn on the alert here again okay yes the alert is okay now if i'm just refreshing here and uh, i'm adding uh, as a seven and submitting here it will say the message seven added successfully and the page is not getting refreshed okay so that's all how we can uh, add a value i mean like how we can submit a value uh, from a form without refreshing the page so you can internally uh, add that to a mysql database as shown you here so hope you got this this is shown in uh, jsp uh, java jsp so in my next video i'll uh, try to um, show you in a php also for some of you ask how to do it in php also so i'll share all my source code in my description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching